So it's been about 13 or 14 days since we came back from PAX and I have yet to make a video about it. Yeah, it's taken me a while to do it. So when I was at PAX, I said I was going to make some videos, I was going to do vlogs and stuff. That didn't happen. I was busy. I was having fun with my friends and stuff, and I just didn't want to, I didn't want to have a camera shoved in their face the entire time. It was fun. I took, I took a lot of pictures. I'll probably put some up here or somewhere. Hardest part about going to PAX was getting from point A to point B, to C to D to E to F, to pretty much everything that we had to do to get there was the hardest part. Brandon and I flew from here to Dallas, to Dallas to San Antonio. When we got to San Antonio, that's where we met Rukia. Took us a few minutes to find her because we landed at two different terminals, we didn't realize that, and so we're just walking around talking to each other, we're, we're saying, oh, we're, uh, we're outside, okay, we walk outside, there's nobody's out there. We go back inside, we can't find them. So we were just like, okay. We went from the San Antonio airport to um, a Red Roof Inn, uh, and we spent the night, our first, well, it wasn't officially, like the, I guess it was our first night, technically, but we get from there, we spent the night at the Red Roof Inn, then the next night, or the next day, excuse me, we went from there to our actual uh, hotel, and then we checked in there, we had a little issue with that, that little issue kind of it kind of hurt my weekend because it's really all I thought about <laughs> and I shouldn't have but I did and it kind of it kind of ruined it for me but anyway went there um, we went and ate at a place called the Gunther house which was awesome we went to the convention center which was the worst idea ever because we were full we were tired because I didn't even I, don't, I think I slept like 30 minutes that night and so we went to the convention center we walked around we looked at everything we went back and I think we went to sleep for a little we went uh Ruki and I went to a uh name that song panel which was awesome she won something yet she she won but yet she gave me the thing that she won because she couldn't even use it <laughs> uh and then after that we went to the Friday the 13th panel which if you Talk to me in person. I'm all about the game. I cannot wait for it. I've had it pre-ordered since I saw it last year at PAX. And uh, I'm ready for the game to come out. But we went to that panel. And that's when we, we went to sleep after that, I believe. And then day two, we got up, went and got coffee and stuff. And then we went to the convention center. We walked around for a little while. And uh, we went and did a thing later on that day called uh, Escape the Room. We, went, we did two of them, actually. Escape the Rooms, essentially, where you go into a room with friends. It, it was just us three in the room, me, Brandon, and Rukia, trying to do the room. And so our goal was to break into the safe, get uh, and essentially get out of the room. But it was we had to break into a safe and get a bunch of different things. We had to solve a lot of puzzles and stuff. It was awesome. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. We didn't make it out of the first one. I think we just went and hung out at the hotel for the rest of the night. And then day three, went to we went to PAX and bought a, quite a few things actually. Like I got uh, <clears throat> I got this hat, the Destiny raid symbol on it, and I got a collared shirt. It was black. It's uh, called it has the Aperture Laboratories from uh, Portal Two on it. Um, we then got a got some more merch. Uh, we had bought some stuff before that actually, and then. It was later on that night, It was like we had spent time trying to figure out where this second escape the room place was. It was called The Great Room Escape is what this one was called. And we went like around the building like three times, I'm pretty sure, trying to figure it out. We like opened doors, I'm pretty sure we weren't supposed to, and we're like looking inside and everything. It, it was uh, it was funny. And uh, after we, we like found a guy that was standing up on like a, a balcony, and... We talked to him, he was like, yeah, the doors don't even open until 7 o'clock that night, which that's when our uh, great room escape was. So we were like, alright. So we went out, did whatever, and we came back. And uh, we made it out of the room. We got there, and three, let's see, uh, a man, a woman, uh, a man and his wife, excuse me, and two kids. One a baby, and a little, like, uh, nine, ten years old, maybe? 
Maybe a little bit older. I don't know. I couldn't really tell. First of all, I just gotta say, the baby was out to keep us from winning the room. <laughs> At one point, we needed the, uh, a compass. We, we found one. And on the floor, there was a... I can't really say much because I'm not allowed to spoil the game or anything, but on the floor, there's like a little mapping, sort of, that you had to use the compass for. And, uh, well, we're walking around the room, we're all... We had just had the compass. We didn't know where it was, and me and the, the other guy that I didn't know, he was in there just, you know, trying to figure it out also. We're like, what did we do with the compass? And the next, I remember, I hear him go, oh, hey. And I saw him reach down in front of the baby and grab it. The baby had been holding it the entire time, and we didn't know it. Also, the baby was a badass. Uh, <laughs> there was a, uh, it was a, if you've ever been standing next to a compressor, air compressor, and you unplug the main valve from it, and it makes a loud psh noise, I'm talking like amplified big time, and when you were standing next to like this window, that would go off, and like, it went off like three times in a row when I was standing next to it, and I got like disoriented, it was like stumbling around, because it did it so much, it made you lose your hearing for a couple of seconds, but uh, we made it out of that room. Which felt pretty good, actually. It was great. And then we had planned a whole lot more to do a whole lot more. And we did a lot more than what I explained. Just, like, just going through this. We went to a movie. Like, we, we stayed one extra day so we could do whatever we wanted to. And we had gone and seen uh, Resident Evil, the newest one that just came out. Went and saw the Alamo. Uh, we did a mirror maze. That, that was something else. For the most part, that was it. Our pack south, it was awesome. Uh, I, I miss it a lot. I miss being, I miss hanging out with my friends. Um, but hopefully, uh, I'll be going back again next year, more than likely. Um, that's sort of my tradition. I was going to the pack south. I went to it last year. I went to the, went to it last year. I went to it this year. I'll go next year, of course. With who? I have no idea. I think possibly C two might be coming back. Uh, he was at the one last year. He didn't get to go to this one this year, though. And it was nah, I wish he could have been there. It would have been awesome. Pretty much our pack story, I think. I don't think anything crazy happened or anything like that. So, yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about this because I, ha I talked about how I was going to do vlogs and stuff. Of course, I didn't because I, I was having fun. And I didn't want to, again, I didn't want to have a camera pushed in their face the entire time. Uh, and so, uh, and it's been like 13, 14 days since PAX has been over, and yet I still haven't made a video. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.